Hi SGM Metal, my name is Mark and I'm here to help you with a Wooden Spoon Cookie Dough fundraiser. Some of you might remember Wooden Spoon Cookie Dough from last year, but for those of you that don't, this is Wooden Spoon Cookie Dough. Um, this is what you're selling, this is what you'll deliver to your customers. Inside each package it's frozen cookie dough, there's cubes, there's 40 cubes, 40 cookies per package. All you do is you break off one or two or a dozen cookies, however many you want to bake. Bake them for about 12 to 15 minutes. And you get, to do, um, you get to enjoy some um, homemade tasting cookies. Each of you should have received an order form. I'm going to kind of run you through the order form here, some of the important things, and also talk to you about our online store. You'll notice in the top left-hand corner of your order form, it says my name and it's blank. Please do not forget to put your name on your order form. Also, in the middle of your order form, you'll see there's six flavors of wooden, wooden spoon cookie dough available. There's chocolate chip my favorite, oatmeal cranberry, peanut butter, snickerdoodle, triple chocolate, and white chocolate macadamia nut. What we're doing is we're doing a pre-sale. We're taking pre-orders. What that means is you need to collect money as you sell. Each item costs $16. So if mom or dad or teacher or principal Kennedy or coach or someone at church or maybe our neighbor or aunt, uncle, grandma, grandpa, whoever it might be wants to buy a wooden spoon cookie dough from you, they need to write their name under customer name, they need to tell you which items they want to purchase, and then you need to collect the right amount of money that, they, that, they, um, that, they, that they're going to pay you. If they want to buy two items, you need to collect $32 in cash or check. Checks are going to be made to SGMS or some form of St. George Middle School. But now on the, on the bottom left hand corner, you'll notice we do have an online store. However, we have to get your name, we have to get you registered in the online store. So if you want your customers to be able to buy from you using a credit card to purchase online, you need to go to tinyurl.com backslash sgmreg, short for register, so sgmreg. If you go to that website, you'll type in your name. You need to include an email address because they will ask you to confirm and say, hey, do you want to be in the online store? So we do need to have a working email address. So ask mom or dad or someone else if you don't have, if you don't have an email address. But once we get your name in the store, then your, your, your friends, your family, they can buy right from you, right from their phone. Now what you and your customers need to realize about the online store um, is two things. Number one, if someone buys from you on the online store, do not put their name on the order form. That is automatically going to get added to your personal order. Number two, online orders are not shipped directly to the customer. So you will be responsible to deliver those items to your, to your online customer as well. Your online customers will get that notice when they're doing the checkout process a couple different times, so there should be no confusion, but I don't want you to think that the items will be shipped directly to the customer. Also a couple things I want you to notice on your order form in the left-hand corner or the left-hand side of your order form. Principal Kennedy and I, we talked about some goals, a fundraiser purpose. Hey, what are we trying to raise money for? Well, we're raising money for you, for your school, for your, for your classmates, and we want to try to sell 250 items or more, of course. If each, um, if each student sells, or if any student who sells 10 items is going to receive a free shirt as well. And if, each, if all the students sell 10 items, you, are, you guys are going to hit a home run. You're going to sell a lot more than 250 items. But that is our goal. In the top right-hand corner of your order form, you'll see we have two important dates. The first one, it says return order date, March 9th. That's the day you need to be done selling. You need to have your order form and your money turned into your teacher or to the front office no later than March 9th. We are going to close the online store on March 9th as well, so if any of your online customers want to order, make sure they do it before March 9th. Our delivery date is going to be the week of March 28th, okay? When I deliver to school, I'm going to deliver them in boxes just like this. Inside the box, well, your box, I should say, is going to have a label on it, a big white label right here and, and over here. It'll have your name on it and the items that you sold. Inside the box, I can fit as many as six items, six wooden spoon cookie doughs. So if you sell you know, five or six items, you're going to have one box. If you sell 10 items, you're going to have two. 15 items, you're going to have three, and so on and so forth. I just want you to know what you're going to be taking home with you, maybe if you're a bus rider, a car rider, or a walker, or ride your bike, whatever it might be, just so that we can have a plan that maybe we need to ask mom or dad or a friend to help you carry your boxes home with you. Now remember, they are frozen, they need to stay frozen. So when we deliver to school, you have about two hours to get them to a freezer or to get them to your customer. So don't leave them on the, on the bus or in the car or in your locker. Make sure you get them, get them home and get them to a freezer. Thank you so much for letting me help you all with another fundraiser and I hope you have a great day.